Hello, Minarets community. This is Dr. Ching here with the principal's message. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a little bit since you've seen my face on video, but here we are. I uh, wanted to touch on a, a couple of, of exciting things happening on campus. Spring is here and lots going on. Uh, so first wanted to say that today marks the end of the third quarter. Now these are progress grades, not final grades but it does give you a snapshot in time of where your student is or where you are, if you are a student, in your progress. This will be sent out via Parent Square and it'll give you a good gauge for the rest of the year where you need to go, uh, maybe some affirmation on how far you've come, but these are the progress grades. So our teachers are going to start posting those Monday, so we'll be sending that out to everybody next week. Also on Monday, what's gonna happen is the mask mandate for schools is going to be lifted. So there's no requirement to wear masks starting on Monday. If students want to wear masks, they are welcome to, if they feel inclined to, if um, we support that fully, and nobody will be, fit, uh, be made to feel uncomfortable for doing that, um, it's just no longer a requirement. If a student is sick, we'll still provide testing we don't want you to send uh, students to school sick. We still want to do good by that and uh, just want to thank you for all your perseverance on that. So uh, you'll, you'll be getting to see our faces and mouths a little more um, in the coming weeks. So uh, we are going to be visiting classes as an administrative and counseling staff for part two of our focus series with students this year. Uh, the first one we focused on um, suicide and social emotional health. We went into the classes to talk to students about resources and how to recognize that with other people. This time around, we're gonna talk about empathy, bias, and racism um, in today's world and society here. Giving kids the tools to, to recognize when uh, these things are occurring, how to express a culture of uh, equality, um, just tools to make sure that we are accepting here of all students, this, uh, that students feel comfortable, that they don't feel like there's biases happen, uh, taking place or, um, or held against certain types of people. We want this to be a place where empathy is strong and it's a healthy community where people feel safe. So that's gonna be the focus and when we come around to classes in the next couple of weeks of our presentation. We thank you for your support on that very uh, powerful and valid uh, cause. So uh, as we head into spring, there are a lot of events coming up and we're going to be sending out some lists uh, so you can keep track. And when I say a lot of events, I mean a lot of events. This is when things are coming. Um, as a principal, I want to just personally thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for how patient you have been. I've had a lot of conversations with parents about, you know, culture and kids, uh, you know, apathy or, or kids um, just feeling down and kids not feeling motivated and I think a lot of that has to do with some of our traditions and exciting events that we do, exciting clubs and activities. A lot of those have been extremely limited in the last couple of years. Well, I'm happy to say that there will be no limitation here in the spring. Um, and we're going to bring back a lot of those things. So you're going to be seeing that. And for, for kids that are freshmen and sophomores, they haven't been able to experience a lot of those things. And so their perception of the school and maybe the reality of of how school is here at Minarets, it's not fully intact. So we fully intend to invest in that, be positive, be focused, make it fun, and end on a very high note so we can have a great summer and carry that momentum into next year. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us through all those struggles that we've gone through. Um, and we're on to good things here. So. I just wanted to give you a few of those dates here. I'm going to go down the list. If you want to refer to them, I am sending these in written form too. But we have Native American Culture Week, March 21st. We have a school rally on April 8th. We have a school-wide lip dub, which is a school-wide music video, on April 14th. All students will be picking their classes for next year on April 5th. So if you want to talk to them and look through our course catalog online. The Life After High School College and Career Fair will be here on March 31st. The Minaret Stampede, where we welcome all the new incoming freshmen, will happen on March uh, on March 14th. Minaret's Go Night for all students that are taking um, dual enrollment courses or AP courses, getting students uh, to be aware of all the requirements and expectations for that. 
That is going to be on March 29th. We're going to have a senior barbecue. It also is Dr. Ching's birthday on April 12th. Celebrate our seniors, and that's just the beginning of the senior celebrations. We have an art show on April 30th. We have Senior Scholarship Night on May 11th. We have Prom on May 14th. We have the Best of the Best Awards, which is a great event. We want you to, to, to come up, come for that. It's going to be on May 26th. We have the FFA Spring Banquet on May 31st. And we have graduation on June 2nd. That's just, uh, that's a good solid list. But to be honest with you, there's a lot of stuff in between that. So just wanted to give you an idea of, of some of the things happening. So if your student says, well, there's nothing to really be involved in or, or attend, there's plenty. So um, be referring to those lists. There's a lot to look forward to, and we thank you again. Keep on going with a spirit that cannot be broken. Go big, go pro, go now. And of course, go Mustangs.